Ang kutsok. Ang jumlah jumlah pekah untuk ke jumlah kah nanti di sana kah? Hei, menurut kita bila kita jumpa sahaja, nampai kalau macam le panjha air kesa dal mesti kapi kedai nongki, bahan lek lang, nasum dak pipi sah dan dal tang samnu cong kroy, tang samnu cong puh sah say rum ni, orang jumpa nasum tu kah kat mukal tha neurosi ni, cakram kerupin. Luk min panjha tu kepihip, hai luk ban abad demian dek nongkai jemlaka samlaka nai Rusia ni. Batum angbe batum pukul bidika cunter zak berinya rong antara cid dan bayi tuka bencak le jemphor bakhlun le jempu ai kesa dai ban dak kapi perkmeng dai krome tu kapi kerai luk nunci ai kesa jom kroy. Thank you, Mr. President. We don't object to the specific use of this document under these circumstances, but I want to make it very clear why that is. It's because this is a one-page document, because Council explained in very clear terms what he intends to do with the document, and we've had a two-hour break to review it. If any of those things were different, we would object. If it were a longer document, if Council had not explained how he intends to use it, or if we had had less time to review. And the reason we would object is because a lack of notice does cause us real prejudice. Uh, when a document is not noticed, by the time we've opened it and taken a look at it, Council may be on our second or third question, and we still wouldn't have had a chance to figure out how it relates to the, the witness's testimony and to put it in context. And I should specifically note in that regard that we don't accept the idea that this document is so well known that everyone in the courtroom will immediately be familiar with it. In a case file with as many documents as this one, uh, no one can be expected to be familiar with the nuance of every page of every document, and that's one of the reasons that we have these notice rules. Uh, this in particular is a revolutionary flag magazine. There are quite a number of those on the case file, and they're fairly lengthy documents. So we understand that a, a degree of flexibility is required in the implementation of procedural rules, and we also realize that at some point we may be asking your honors for flexibility. But nevertheless, the rules need to remain the rules, and the exceptions need to remain the exceptions. So, while in this particular case we don't object, we don't wish this to be understood as um, agreeing to any derogation of the basic rules that your honors have set out for the citizen um, If I may react, Mr. President. Um, it's... Um, an interesting answer, especially in the light of the fact that uh, the international co-prosecutor himself last week when examining uh, the expert came with documents which were not on the interface. Of course, we didn't object to it. But I suppose the question touches on a larger issue, and that is, I understand that it is um, not the purpose of examination to surprise parties or to surprise uh, the trial chamber. However, uh, things come sometimes up during the uh, uh, examination in chief that weren't anticipated in preparing uh, the witness. Um, so I think we should not stick to a very um, difficult rule, which as a rule is understandable as such, uh, but if we stick to the fact that something has to be on the interface and we have no flexibility as to um, putting documents in front of a witness, which in theory should all be known to the parties, uh, then I think we are maneuvering into an, an area which we really, uh, or in a sphere where we really do not want to come. 
So I think, uh, as a general rule, maybe you should uh, make a general finding on this or general ruling on this. If it is a document well known um, to all the parties, well discussed at length sometimes uh, into one, then um, of course. Uh, party should avoid the element of surprise um, and we should all be able to, uh, it is not only interface to, to find it and to look for it, but we should still be able to use it. So I think maybe uh, at this point in time it would be good if the trial chamber, if you trial chamber make a sort of general ruling as to what should be uh, done in respect of this. Your Honor, I apologize for rising again. There's just one more thing that I'd meant to say that, that Mr. Coppa reminded me of. As I understand it, uh, his intended use of this document is to make the argument that the behavior of cadres on the ground did not match what he would say was the higher standard set out in Revolutionary Flag magazine. That, in our submission, is not an issue that arose during the evidence of this witness. It, it, it was foreseeable that that issue, uh, it, it was foreseeable before the testimony of this witness that that issue is one that he might like to have explored. ແລະមិនទៅខាងក្រុមមេត្តាវិញនៅមុខនំរាងដើមនៅ <coughs> Euh, je je, je m'en réfère à la position que j'ai développée avant le, la pause déjeuner qui est finalement assez similaire à celle que mon confrère Copé a, a indiquée. Je pense qu'il est nécessaire d'avoir une règle de principe sur ce point. La règle, nous la connaissons, c'est que nous devons notifier aux parties la veille les documents que nous entendons utiliser lors de l'interrogatoire. Cette règle, elle est simple, c'est que c'est le principe du contradictoire. C'est un principe qui est marqué de manière très claire dans les principes généraux du règlement intérieur de cette cour, les parties ont la, le devoir de notifier aux autres parties les documents qu'ils souhaitent utiliser lors de l'examen de témoins. Donc ça me paraît difficile d'aller plus loin ou contre ce principe général d'organisation de nos débats. Maintenant, toutes les manières de, de, de lecture, je peux comprendre que parfois, dans certaines situations exceptionnelles, une question surgisse et que l'utilisation d'un document qui n'a pas été mis sur l'interface soit nécessaire pour la défense, pour le procureur ou pour les parties civiles, donc cela ne me gêne pas en soi. Mais ce que je vous disais avant la pause du déjeuner, c'est qu'il faut que les règles soient les mêmes pour tout le monde et que nous soyons avertis de ce qu'il existe, des exceptions aux règles. Donc notre position est la suivante. Nous souhaiterions que soit confirmé le principe du contradictoire dans cette salle d'audience. Nous souhaiterions que soit confirmé le principe de l'utilisation de l'interface la veille de l'audience, mais nous ne nous opposons pas de manière exceptionnelle à ce que des documents soient produits par les parties en cours d'audience si les autres parties ont la faculté de lire ces documents et éventuellement, j'irai même plus loin, ont la possibilité de poser des, des questions relativement à ce, nou à ce nouveau du C'est ce qui paraît aller au bout du principe du contradictoire. À partir du moment où on introduit un nouveau document, les parties devraient être aussi euh, habilitées à poser d'éventuelles nouvelles questions sur l'utilisation de ce document. Donc je suis d'accord finalement avec mon confrère sur ce point. Je pense que la Chambre doit euh, donner une position de principe que nous, pour, nous, que, que nous puissions suivre pour la, le reste des audiences.
J'aurais souhaité que la Chambre rende une décision de principe avant que j'ai à me prononcer sur l'utilisation de ce document. Si la Chambre rend une décision par laquelle l'utilisation exceptionnelle du document est autorisée, je n'ai pas de difficulté à ce que ce document soit utilisé par notre confrère lors de l'audience de cet après-midi. Just to avoid further debate, do I understand the party submissions correctly? They don't object today to the use of this document for the reasons given. However, everybody would appreciate direction, a directive by the chamber on how we will go about the use of the interface in a more general manner. Do you understand that correctly? I look at all the parties and see heads nodding, because then we can go ahead. Yes, with the of course, we are hardly ever examining in chief, and we're always reacting. So things come up during examination, and we are in different position. And we will uh, give thought to that when we develop the general directive. But are we okay with this? So we can go ahead. There is agreement by all the parties that this document can now be used by the Defence Council in this manner. On an exceptional basis and with the understanding that there will be channel guidelines forthcoming. That's yeah? correct, Your Honor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oui. Thank you, um, Judge Fence. Um, Mr. Witness, we had a long discussion about uh, things that really do not uh, concern you. Um, before the break, you might remember we were speaking about your unit chief, or very briefly about your unit chief and your group chief. Um, and I want to ask you if you be able to describe, if you remember well, um, the attitude uh, and the way of operating um, of the unit chief and the group chief. How did they interact with you? How did they interact with the other members of your unit? Um, what kind of person was this unit? Uh, I would like to uh, use or to give you a few words uh, and ask you if these words possibly uh, describe the behavior of your unit chief and group chief. Um, So, uh, my first, the first word I would like to use um, in order to ask you if that word describes the attitude and behavior of your uh, unit chief would be uh, authoritarian. เปียถาปดายกาขญมบ้านกำหนดทางคือปราปลกรรมปดายกาตะลือคือกรรมก่อกะกะเฉลียงรอทั้งไหนในสิ่งที่เกี่ยวกับเขาเขาเขาเขา
Would you use the word militaristic to describe the attitude of your unit chief or your good chief? <coughs> I heard something different back in the translation. Um, I used the word militaristic. But I heard something. <laughs> well, that's, I said militaristic, not materialistic. Uh, just, uh, I was, um, I did give um, the interpreters um, the actual passage from the uh, Revolutionary so they have it in front of them. Uh, um, uh, uh, Mr. Witness, would you describe your group chief or your unit chief as a single-minded uh, uh, um, I think I have one more left, or two more left. Um, would you describe either of them as bureaucratic or liberal. Uh, can you describe your unit chief as bureaucratic or liberal? In order to be able to understand how you would describe the behavior of your unit chief and group chief. Now, in a more general sense, uh, could you, using your own words, describe uh, his behavior to you and to the group or the unit? The reason I'm asking all this is because before, uh, before the lunch break, you were, you were telling, you were telling that you were fearful um, of, of him when you would complain. People would be fearful uh, of him because if a spoon would break, uh, he would threaten people to, be, to send them away. So I'm trying to, to understand um, how things went in those years, what the interaction was between you and your unit members and, and the unit chief. So again, this is my last question on the subject. Please describe the attitude uh, or stance of this course. Please and this is exactly my question, um, or exactly the, 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 the problem that I want to um, discover. Why is it exactly that you were fearful of him? What made you fearful of him? ไอ้ได้เธอเอาได้นอมเอาลูกคลายเมกองนั่นนอมเอาคลายเมกองเคยไปมุนไปมุนหมอจะตะบัดนึกไปกรมไปกองเธอจะคลายนึกเคยตะ
but going away from the uh, the cooperative or the unit and not coming back but not necessarily uh, anything harmful to the person you understand what I mean Mr. Let me try it another way. I understand fear of something to happen as a personal thing, but I'm trying to find out whether you had or your group members had real reasons to be fearful of the unity or the unity. So I'm trying to figure out exactly um, what he said, um, how he behaved toward me, etc. So would you be able to shed some more light about how he interacted with you and what made you fearful? Okay, thank you, thank you, Mr. Witness. I'll have one last small subject, um, and that's the following. That's the situation of the food and the communal eating. Um, yesterday we had uh, a witness testifying coming from uh, another commune. And he told us that on a regular basis, uh, people were also eating fish uh, with rice and, and, soup, and sometimes beef, sometimes vegetables. Was that the same uh, in your community? In your community? តិចតួចដែរនៅសហករដ្ឋខ្ញុំប្រឡែមានពិតប៉ុណ្ណាប្រឡែនឹងវាយើងធ្វើបានខ្លួនយើងក្នុងអាដេញអង្គភាពដើ
បាទអឺលោកសាហៀនអង្គយំនេះសូមអរគុណ <cười> មន្ត្រីរដ្ឋបាលតុលាការតម្រូវរួមជាមួយនឹងមន្ត្រីនៃអង្គភាពកម្ពុជាសហសិនិងអ្នកជំនាញក្នុងការ <cười> เอ่อสําหรับ